have a dream That's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief The fees So we're gonna talk about the fees It's not that complicated to see how much it's gonna cost But what makes it complicated is Deciding what you really need What do I mean by that? If you have a brand when you pay for a brand you can decide how many class and the class are important because those depend how strong your trademark is and it's important for you to know what class you need and how much do you need so if you look at the fees so we're gonna go back here to the start, uh, start of the website and if you are watching this and you can speak Dutch or French, you can find this website also in another language. So I'm keeping it to English so you can follow the whole process. So if you want to know what the fees are, just go down here. You see here literally fees. Yeah. So we press fees. Okay. Because we are trademark, we're looking for fees for trademark. But if I'm talking about design or I depot, we're gonna look at this one, these two. But for now, we're gonna look fees for trademarks. You see, a standard application is 244. They're clear about that, yeah? And what you need to keep in mind is when you pay for this, you don't have to pay any FAT or anything else, yeah? If you want an um, as a race accelerated uh, registration you have to pay more that's uh, logical if you want to renew a trademark so it's been 10 years and you want to renew it this is the cost that's simple if you find um, let's say uh, agency that wants to do this for you and they say the price is higher than this what they mean is the basic price is this but you need to pay them for their services so let's say you find an agency online they ask you for example 650 and the, the fees that you're seeing on the website is 244 right the thing is what you need to keep in mind is the difference between this this price is the price that you're paying them for their services and their services, if they are providing you services, you need to ask them, what are you going to do for me? Are you going to do a trademark research? Are you going to make the application yourself? And let me tell you one thing. Most of those people, when they make the application themselves, they're gonna look at similar brands and then copy what they register. You need to watch out for that because most of the time it can ruin your registration so if you have a professional they will make sure that your application is original and it meets your requirements some of the agency i don't like the way how they work because sometimes when you see some cases someone register a trademark but it uh, it's not strong enough and uh, sometimes you also have people when they register it themselves they doesn't they do not register it correct so I'm not advising you to register yourself, but if you have the knowledge to do it, you can do it. But if you're hiring someone, make sure they know what to do and don't waste your money. Because for some people, especially for startup, this can be a lot of money. And with this money, you can hire some freelancer to do some extra work for you, like handle your social media. You don't want to waste money. So this price is most time the price for the services. When they register, they're gonna look for research and they're gonna see if you can register the trademark or not so it's not like it's a scam or anything it's just you need to know what you're paying this will be the price for the trademark it depends if you're um, asking some extra things but this is the basic price and then you register you're gonna ask them are you going to do some research are you going to make the application can I react on the application all those things you need to ask yourself and what you need to keep in mind is this is basically for three yeah sometimes some agencies scam you you pay this price but you only register it for one i wouldn't do that why is that when you have three if something is wrong with one of them you still have the other two 
You understand what I mean? When you are in the opposition process and something went wrong, you can still say, hey, I can still get the trademark for this, so I'm not losing this money. And what you see um, people do right now, some agency, they'll be like, okay, you know what? You cannot pay this. I'm going to make it cheaper for you, but you only register it for only one. Watch out for that. And you do not need to register for world or Europe. So sometimes when you register, you're going to get a letter. Do you want to register for the whole Europe or do you want to register for the whole world? And people will be like, hey, I'm going to be international or whatever. Don't do that. Just think about, okay, I registered in the Netherlands. Where are my customers? Are they in Belgium, Germany? Maybe I should look in Germany how they can register the trademark. But do not register in a country where you do not use it because it's a waste of your money. You see that a lot with st st startups. They think, okay, I, I'm creating a brand. I need to register everywhere. Don't waste your money. Do something else with your money. So keep that in mind. So these are the fees. We're going to look more into the fees right now. So you see here, registration. You see the price they give it here. Second class, you pay extra. Yeah, second class, you pay extra. Yeah. I think they change it here because normally it was basic for three. Yeah, I think something changed here. Um, application for individual trademark, including one class, valid for 10 years. Okay, second class is this. Okay, so you have to pay much. It's more expensive than uh, than a couple of. Uh, yeah, it's more expensive. Yeah. So technically, when you register, they're asking you this for one class. And if you want a second class, you get this. And third class, you need to pay for this. But I don't understand this. They say per class from the third. Does this mean include? Normally, when you, um, when you register a process, you see the cost. So I just click um, doing the application process, and you see the price. But the way how they explain it is not um, it's not clear for me yet. So if you're asking yourself what are class, I'm going to show you what it is because they explain it here. I think this whole price is for three classes. I'm not sure. Okay, but here we have. Um, classification more about classification you press it here and it, sh it will show you that we have a lot of class um, this is not what I'm looking for what I'm looking at is a PDF document where you can see the class and most of the time you have that but here they explain what it is but you need to see um, what those classes are about because you have a class for, um, let's see what they say. Normally you have a PDF where they explain what the class is, but I'm not going to talk about that in this stream. And I cannot find a PDF in here because everything is done on the website of them. So that's why you don't need to look at the PDF. But we are talking about the fee right now. So you see here, these are the prices. Thing is, I cannot tell you for sure if this is for three classes because this is a second class. So it would be weird if this is for three classes and then you need to pay 24, 27 if you want a second class. That's weird. So one, two, three. So I think if you want three classes, you have to pay for more. So I think the reason why they offer only one class now is because of this option here. But if you have the option to um, to register your trademark for more class, do that. It can help you a lot on the long run. So I think they increased the price here. I'm curious since when. But okay, here you have the prices and this is the price for registration. Remember, this is the price for res registration. Yeah. Um, ah, I see. If you want the world intellectual property, then you can do it here for only one class i think because of the demand people want one class not standard three they change it interesting 
okay modification let's say you have a trademark that's already registered and you want to change it here you see the prices first trademark second to fifth you can change it you see the price you can change all the things it's to explain everything everything that you need to know yeah then you have renewal so after 10 years you want to renew you see the price for renewal you see it always here remember these are the price for a trademark that is registered for belgium luxembourg and netherlands not for other country keep that in mind so here you have the price for renewal and here you have other things prices we're not going to discuss that otherwise it will be complicated and another other things here alerts per renewal yeah so if you want to be up to date about certain kind of things that happen during the registration for opposition you can pay for it and then they will send you an alert so everything about the fees you can find it in here yeah. and sorry i cannot answer that question about one class or not in the next stream we will talk more about classification how you can use that and other stuff so if you have question about this just go on a discord and ask me directly you go to the this link and you press law center if you find this information useful make sure you subscribe and if you want to support us make sure you support us by donating something or buy me a coffee coffee is three dollars or five dollars so why not i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and belief know what i want so i'll take it on i made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie sheen will be great